tutorial is on the Ocean Signal Personal AIS Beacon or Man Overboard device found on all PFDs on Fireboat 1.5. What is AIS? AIS stands for Automatic Identification System. The Automatic Identification System is an automatic tracking system used on ships and by vessel tracking services for identifying and locating vessels by electronically exchanging data with other nearby ships, AIS base stations, and satellites. AIS information supplements marine radar, which continues to be the primary method of collision avoidance for water transport. The original purpose of AIS was solely collision avoidance, but many other applications have since developed and continued to be developed. AIS is currently used for collision avoidance among large vessels at sea that are not within range of shore-based systems. This technology identifies every vessel individually along with its specific position and movements, enabling a virtual picture to be created in real time. The AIS standards include a variety of automatic calculations based on these position reports, such as closest point of approach and collision alarms. An AIS is not used by all vessels, however, it is used in conjunction with radar. When a ship is navigating at sea, information about the movement and identity of other ships in the vicinity is critical for navigators to make decisions to avoid collision with other ships and dangers such as shoals or rocks. How does AIS work? AIS is basically a two-part system, one part VHF, one part GPS. It receives the information from other ships through the GPS and it transmits its current position through the VHF antenna. There are two types of AIS available. Class A vessels have a mounted transceiver and it is targeted at large commercial vessels. It requires a transceiver to maintain a constantly updated slot map in its memory such that it has prior knowledge of slots which are available for it to transmit. Transmissions are therefore prioritized within the AIS system. This is achieved through two receivers in continuous operation. Class A's must have an integrated display, transmit at 12.5 watts, and interface capability with multiple ship systems which offers a sophisticated selection of features and functions. Class B, which like we have on Fireboat 1.5, is aimed at lighter commercial and leisure markets. These transceivers listen to the slot map immediately prior to transmitting and seek a slot where the noise in the slot is the same or similar to the background noise, thereby indicating that the slot is not being used by other AIS devices. Class B's transmit at 2 watts and are not required to have an integrated display. They can be connected to most display systems where they receive messages and they will be displayed in lists on overlaid charts. Default transmission rate is normally every 30 seconds. What is DSC? DSC stands for Digital Selective Calling. It's a paging system that uses data signals to automate the transmission and reception of calls on VHF Marine Radio Channel 70. A DSC message is a brief burst of digitized information transmitted from one station to alert another station or stations. The DSC message automatically indicates the identity of the calling station and the priority or purpose of the call. Every DSC radio has a unique number, which you use to call other radios, just like a mobile phone. However, unlike mobile phones, DSC allows you to call every other radio in range at the same time if you are in trouble. It is activated by pressing the red button under the red translucent door on the front of the VHF radio. That button is to be depressed 
for three to five seconds. At that time, it will transmit the global position of the vessel to the Coast Guard and open up a DSC channel on the radio. What is MMSI? MMSI stands for Maritime Mobile Service Identity. This is basically the boat's serial number or the device's serial number. MMSI is a nine-digit number used by Maritime Digital Selective Calling automatic identification systems and certain other equipment to uniquely identify it in that lot. It is managed by the International Telecommunications Union so that the entire system makes sense. In the case of the fireboat, its number begins with 338 which designates that it's from the United States of America. The remaining six digits designate the boat directly. Any vessel you see either making a DSC call or listing their MMSI number in their AIS that begin with the numbers 338 is designated from the US. The first three digits in this group are referred to as the MID or the Maritime Identification Digits they range from 201 to 775. Aids to navigation, or on the chart it would look like the capital letter A, lowercase to, and the capital N, designates the MID in digits 3, 4, and 5. Aids to navigation begin with 99, then 338, and then the last four digits would be their unique identifier. AIS Search and Rescue Transmitters, or SARTs, S-A-R-T, have the format 970, then the next two digits are the manufacturer code, and the last four digits are the unique identifier. EPIRBs, like we also have on the fireboat, are called Electronic Positioning Indicator Radio Beacons. They use the identity 974, then the manufacturer code, which would be digits 4 and 5, and then the unique identifier, which would be the last four digits of the set. MMSI as it relates to the ocean signal MOB1s used on the fireboat. The first three digits are 972, designating an MOB device. The next two digits designate the manufacturer of this device, which in this case is Ocean Signal, and the last four digits designate the device sequence number. Each one has its own unique MMSI number, and it is tied directly to the MMSI number of the boat. The MOB-1 is the world's smallest personal locating AIS man overboard device with integrated DSC. It has a very simple life jacket integration which we demonstrated at the training class that we held. It has fast accurate positioning, it has automatic activation, it has an integrated DSC transmitter, seven years of battery life and 24 plus hours of operational life. Once activated the MOB will transmit an alert to all AIS receivers and all AIS enabled plotters in the vicinity within five miles. The integrated GPS ensures precise location is sent to your vessel and any other vessel that This is a typical installation on the blow tube of a class 5 PFD. All of this is concealed while the life jacket is worn and will never be visible unless the life jacket is, de is activated. How the MOB works it's intended to be installed within the life jacket and will activate automatically on inflation, sending the first alert within 15 seconds. The integrated strobe light ensures maximum visibility in low light conditions. It communicates with the vessel that you have been separated from and other vessels in the vicinity up to five miles, like I mentioned earlier. 
The best chance of rapid rescue if you fall overboard comes from your own vessel. Your crew needs to be immediately aware of the incident and keep track of your position while recovery is carried out. Even in the most moderate of seas, it is alarming how quickly a visual sighting of a man overboard can be lost. Once activated, the MOB will transmit an alert to all AIS receivers and all AIS-enabled chart plotters in the vicinity. The integrated GPS ensures precise location is sent to your vessel and any others that may be assisting. An additional feature of the MOB is its ability to activate the DSC alarm on your vessel's VHF, alerting your crew to the situation just in case they didn't see you fall overboard. The MOB is configured currently to the Fireboat's DSC MMSI number, which is the one we shared in the earlier slide beginning with 338. Each MOB has a unique MMSI number as well, which will display on the chart plotter when activated. Just by chance you see a number that begins with 972 on the chart plotter while we're out doing training or on a rescue, you can know for sure that that is a MOB and possibly a person in the water and should be taken seriously. The device does have automatic activation when correctly packed in a life jacket. It will automatically activate when the life jacket inflates. This was demonstrated in the class and a separate video will be posted online accordingly. Should the life jacket fully fail to inflate, it may be necessary to assist the activation slide by pulling on the activation tape to fully release the activation slide. This is what it looks like deployed in the water. Additional slide. Manual activation. Only activate the MOB in situations requiring assistance. Only in an emergency. Deliberate misuse may result in a fine from the United States Coast Guard. To manually activate the MOB in an emergency, slide the red arming slide down. Slide the gray activation slide to the left or right. The strobe light will start flashing. The MOB will automatically start transmitting after 50 seconds, 15 seconds. If the MOB fails to activate when the slide is removed, press the on key down until the green light starts flashing. The on key is directly beneath the gray slide and it is colored red. The antenna will automatically be released, so it's very important to keep it away from your eyes when activating. Upon activation, the indicator LED will show eight short flashes during an AIS transmission and one long flash during DSC transmission. The color of the flash will be red during position acquisition and green when the GPS position is being received. When operating the MOB, tether the beacon to your body or the life jacket. If it's in the HIT life jackets, it will automatically be tethered to the life jacket. Hold your beacon with the antenna standing vertically, keeping the area marked GPS antenna free from obstruction which would interfere with the GPS reception. Press and hold the on key for over five seconds to transmit a single DSC all ships distress alert. This should only be done in a dire emergency. If it is obvious that your alert is not being acted upon by your own vessel. After the key is pressed, the green LED will start flashing then become steady. Release the key to commence transmission of a single DSC transmission. The LED will blink rapidly to indicate a DSC distress is being transmitted to all ships. Red if there's no position available and green when the GPS position is being This is a handout that's available on the backstage of the website. It is also available from either of the two marine officers. Thank you for watching this training and I hope you come back for a few more.